Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca and another of our short instructional videos in which we examine astrology, human emotion, and the financial markets. I want to take a look a little further at the concept of declination. Probably a good practical example of declination is the next time you go for a bicycle ride, uh, watch the front tire of your bike. It may have a little bit of a wobble to it and that tire will actually be wobbling about an axis and it will go from being on one side of the axis to the other and back again in a repetitive fashion. That is declination. Now in terms of declination of the Sun, uh, from an observer here on Earth we see that the Sun over the course of a calendar year will go from being uh, uh, extremely high above the horizon to being relatively low above the horizon and back again. And that causes changes to the length of our days, to the temperatures that we experience, and uh, and it continues to do this in a, in a repetitive pattern over time. So now, here's the question. Does the repetitive changing of the sun's declination have a bearing on human emotion? And if it does, does that human emotion then translate into changes on the financial market? Let's take a look. Here's a chart of the Dow Jones Weekly Nearest Futures Contract. I've got this chart set up so that it starts uh, late 2010, takes us right up till the present time. I've got some dates circled in here I want you to look at. March of 2011, the Dow Jones made a swing pivot low and it started to rally again. The rally gave out and the market fell into June of 2011, another pivot low. Um, September 2011, a rather significant low, followed by a rally, which took us into March of 2012, and an a interim top. From that interim top, the markets fell apart. Uh, June 2012, a pivot low. Rallied into September 2012, an interim pivot high. Uh, the markets fell apart, found some support, and then rallied into March of 2013. At that point, people said, markets are at an all-time high, can't possibly go higher. Well, guess what? <laughs> they did. They broke out. Uh, in the March time frame and confounded a lot of people. Uh, markets rallied uh, into May of 2013, fell apart, made a pivot low in that June time frame again. And now we're faced with a, a pending date here in September that I want you to be very alert to. Uh, something very interesting uh, could happen in terms of a pivot high or a pivot low. So what is it about these March, June, and September time frames and, and how do they align with these pivots? Well, here's a chart taken from uh, the astrology program I use, it's called Solar Fire Gold. This is the declination of the Sun. Notice the repetitive pattern. I've got some dates marked in here. I've got some Marches and some Junes and September's marked in, in uh, each of the years that this graph entails. In March of every year, I want you to notice that the Sun's declination will go from being negative, it will cross the zero line, and it will become positive. In June of every year, I want you to notice that the Sun's declination will reach its maximum positive extent, and then it will turn down. In September of every year, the Sun's declination will go from being positive, and it will cross that zero line, and it will become negative. And this pattern repeats itself every year. And so, I think we can say that these March, June, and September time frames are all correlated to changes in the declination of the Sun, and somehow these changes impact our human emotion, which in turn impacts the financial markets. As to the exact metaphysics of how the declination of the sun affects our human emotion, I don't know, and I'm not sure anybody really understands it. But the correlation is there, and it is a very powerful tool for traders to use. And it doesn't stop at the sun. All of the planets have their own unique declination pattern over time. Even the moon has a declination pattern over time. And as I dig further into this stuff, I'm going to be sharing it with you in terms of YouTube videos and blogs and, and, and various other posts. Um, so pay attention to it. Uh, and I think this declination stuff uh, is going to prove to be a very powerful tool for, for all of us to use. So as always, we can be found at our main website, investingsuccess.ca. Um, please be sure to visit us on our uh, blog posts at astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com and also give some thought to subscribing to our um, Astrology eAlert service. I've got it priced at a very affordable $10 a month and for that, what you're going to get is approximately four notifications every month in which I keep you fully apprised of pending 
uh, dates to watch for. These could be new moons, full moons, eclipses. They could be planetary aspects. They could be transits of the moon. They could be declination changes. But with this information in hand, uh, given to you in a timely manner, you'll be well set up to uh, take advantage of it using your technical chart analysis as these events occur. And that's it for today. So thank you very much and good trading.